What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel today. I want to talk about what I've been playing and what's been going on in my gaming life lately. Uh, Kate and I have been playing quite a bit of Borderlands. Believe it or not, I'm one of the few who had never played Borderlands 2. Uh, probably about 10 years ago is when I played Borderlands 1 on my Xbox 360. Played it through with my wife and had a blast. But as time went on and, and more and more games were released over the years, that era of Borderlands 2 I completely missed. I feel bad about it uh, because my 17 year old son, it was his favorite game during that period of time and he played it probably for eight months to a year straight and that's all he played and I, I was always telling him there's other games going on besides Borderlands. If I had known then what I know now, I would have had my goofy ass playing Borderlands with him because Borderlands 2 was incredible. And by the time uh, my wife and I finally completed it, we were halfway through a second playthrough when Borderlands 3 released. And so it's out now, Borderlands 3. And uh, we're not going balls to the wall in the game. We're, we're really kind of taking our time and enjoying it. Uh, it does have quite a few bugs and, and some serious uh, UI issues. The menus are really, really bad. I'm playing on a PS4 Pro, so uh, I'm seeing some, uh, some issues with the frame rate. When I play in certain modes, it does give you the option to pick frame rate over resolution. And uh, but I prefer frame rate. But, you know, overall, the game, it just felt kind of jarring coming from Borderlands 2 to Borderlands 3. I will say that they they have made some quality of life improvements that I really, really like. Now, when you go to a box and open it, any ammunition that you need automatically goes to you. Uh, when you're playing in a cooperative cooperative mode like we are, you get your own guns. So when you open up a box or you find a, you know, a loot box and there are awesome guns inside of it, you see what you see and the person you're playing with gets their own gun so you don't have to fight over who gets what. That's really, really awesome. They made some really uh, incredible uh, changes and advances uh, in, in the lore. And I, I really like the, the whole aspect of leaving and going to different vaults and different plans. I like the game a lot. I think it's great. I think that uh, uh, Gearbox, once they get their... Um, their uh, updates out and their, their firmware updates out and they fix some of these issues with like the UI when you open the menu it just it seems like it crashes the PS4 Pro it takes so long for you to open it and uh, some of the issues I have with this game are uh, it, it seems more convoluted to not sort weapons but to kind of uh, compare them and uh, to pick what you want and and there's also it seems like there's so many more guns you get pointless guns uh, and it's like every time you go around a corner, there's 25 guns to pick up and you don't have the storage for it. But, you know, overall, it feels like Borderlands. Uh, it's more of what I really love about Borderlands 1 and 2. Uh, there seems to be so much more to do with the characters. I'm playing as Zane and uh, my wife is the Beastmaster. I'm trying to remember his name. But uh, I, I've always used the turrets in, in Borderlands 1 and 2. And so Zane is probably the closest thing to that. Uh, but I'm having a lot of fun. I'm really, really enjoying it. Right now, I'm kind of up early on a Sunday morning. Everybody in the house is asleep. And so I came over and, and played a little bit of the Modern Warfare uh, cross-platform beta. Uh, and, and let me just say, this Call of Duty game is different. Uh, there's, <laughs> I can't remember in, in recent history a Call of Duty game that felt like this. This is much more tactile. It, it's, it's a slower paced game. You've really got to have patience. You've got to be able to think on your feet, the way that the game is controlled, the way it moves, the way you're looking around corners and stuff. It, it It's really awesome. Uh, I think they do need to uh, fix a few of the issues with this game. Uh, some of the spawns just don't work. I can't stand not having a mini-map, uh, but sometimes I spawn in, and as soon as I spawn, there's two or three guys shooting at me. That's a major problem. But I think overall, uh, Modern Warfare is probably going to save or at least give a stem shot to the Call of Duty uh, franchise because this is exactly what the doctor ordered. Now we know with these three year development cycles uh, that Activision has these uh, these um, houses on, these three year de development cycles, they're all gonna be using this engine. So I wanna see what the hell a new, uh, you know, a new Black Ops looks like or even, you know, I don't want any more air space strafing futuristic stuff, but if they can make it work somehow on this new engine and make it feel as real as this one good thing i'll say i mean i don't see people jumping and, and doing the you know the booty oil four slide everywhere you go in this game it's like real life it's like realistic uh, and it's very visceral and very violent and I'm, I'm really enjoying it 
And so I think that this will probably be a Call of Duty I play for quite some time. I don't know if I'll be pulling myself directly off of Borderlands 3 once this launches, but uh, it's a lot of fun. I think that uh, it's bringing Call of Duty back to its roots. For a long time, it had kind of gotten you know away from its core audience and tried to turn it into something else, where you got wall running and wall double jumps and all these things that you know it seemed like it was pulling from Destiny and pulling from Titanfall. This Call of Duty is surely uh, a return to form for the franchise, and I'm looking forward to. Uh, you know, going going in and, and, and playing everything they have to offer as far as uh, the revitalization of the Call of Duty franchise. What have you guys been playing? Let me know what you guys have been playing. I'm, I'm going to get in touch with some of my old buddies and see if anybody wants to maybe uh, do some Borderlands with me and my wife. Hit up Inner Black Ninja and Gary Diaz and Mr. Wilson and see what's up. Robbie Field, uh, uh, Not Too Nerdy Entertainment, my boys, see what they're up to and maybe uh, delve deep in deep in with some of my homies you guys let me know what you've been playing let me know what you think in the comments below are you playing borderlands 3 what are your thoughts on borderlands 3 did you watch the live stream the borderlands show with greg miller i'm not a fan of greg miller's um honestly i'm not i'm just i'm a loyal person and the whole colin moriarty thing that he did it turned me off so i had to sit through it in my office <laughs> on uh, Friday and brave the storm of watching this goofball until I got those uh, golden got the golden key. So I got two golden keys. I'm excited about it. If you guys want golden keys in the game, follow Randy Pitchford uh, on on Twitter. He's going to be releasing some more. He released two yesterday that I missed because he had a three hour window. So if you want them, follow him on Twitter. Uh, make sure your notifications are on so you can see when he he puts something out. But I want those golden keys because those golden keys change the game literally. I'm the Beast of the Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.